Hello everyone, I'm live. It's Friday afternoon and I'm working on some last minute mums for that I need to get out tomorrow. So I just thought you guys might want to join in. I'm finishing up some mini mums. So hello everybody and I hope everyone's doing well. So let me change the camera here so you can see what I'm doing. Sylvia, how are you? Thanks for joining in. Let me just add a couple of things to this live. I have to go into studio every time and add stuff. Let's see if I can find it first. Here I am. I think. Nope, that's not me. Hello, Kay. How are you? This is so weird. It's not showing my live on the in the studio. Weird, weird. I know I'm live, but for some reason I can't find myself. <laughs> All right, here. So I'm, I'm working on four mini mums that I got to finish up and get out tomorrow. Yeah, I've got to get them boxed up tonight and get them out tomorrow. Uh, why won't it let me do anything? This is so weird. Well, I guess YouTube Studio has changed and it won't let you do any edits while you're doing a live stream. That is definitely new. Aw. Hey, TJ. So, I'm working on a victory braid. So, I had an order for four mini mums, of course, the same colors, and three boys and one girl. So it's kind of hard, you know, when you're doing four for the same person to kind of change them up when you're dealing with the same colors and everything. Um, so, you know, my mini mums only have one braid on them. So I'll show you what, before I start that, I'll show you what I've done so far. So here's one of the garters gotten done except for the stickers I still have to cut out and attach stickers so there's a couple of football trinkets there a couple of bells and then I put trinkets going all down the and just a regular spirit chain and then these are basic uh, peewee and mini mini mums so I call I call a garter peewee and then the girls I call a mini and then here's hers. So it's red, navy, and touches a white and silver. Red and navy are the main colors. And she's a senior, so I did the senior with a little bit of red tinsel in the back to make it pop and put some different bling on the front and a little mirror ball. And I just did navy here and then did the navy loop. And this is one of my favorite loop chains. You guys probably know that because I've done so many of them. They're easy to do, and I just think they're so pretty. Give her a bell and a cute bow, and I did quite a few trinkets on theirs. I just thought they needed them, because I'm only putting their name, the mascot, and then homecoming. But there are three of them that are senior, so I'll probably put senior stickers on there too. Hey, Connie. Those are the Dollar Tree mirror ball. I just cut off that that gold attachment. Thank you, Kay. So 
So I've got two more garters to do and I've already done the streamers. So I tried to do all the streamers slightly different even though they're all the same colors. See how I did the bottoms of that one. I just wanted to change them up a little bit, make them all look a little different and I'm gonna do a different braid on them all. And I did the backers all, you know, different. A couple of them are similar, but. And like this one, I didn't put any white. On um, hers, I didn't put any white, but uh, two of them I did. And then I've already done the backers. See, I did the twisted loops on that one too, but that one had white. And I attached them differently. Like I attached these all the same around, and those I attached four, and then four, and then four, which gives it a different look. And then on this one for the guys, I did big loops and twisted loops. And that says, let's go defense. And knowing me, I'm gonna attach this upside down. So we'll just see. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, TJ. You did it wrong. Yeah, I love that loop chain, that's my favorite. So I did glitter there and then let's go defense here. And like I said, I will probably end up attaching it upside down and having to fix that because I always do that. And I already attached the flowers. Sometimes that's just easier for me. And then I've been attaching the garter onto this section. I used to attach a garter onto its own backer and then attach that backer onto the back. And then I was, so I would use four backers on the guys and I realized I don't have to do that. I can attach it to this section and save me a backer. So I did a spirit chain on one of the guys. I'm gonna do a victory braid. And I don't know what the other one I'm gonna do. Maybe a three ribbon spirit chain. I just wanna do simple ones cause I gotta get them done tonight. I just, I wanna get them out by tomorrow, which means I gotta get them done tonight so I can box them up tonight, get them scheduled for pickup tomorrow. So on the victory braids, I've been doing the tops a little differently, not every time. But instead of doing four separate pieces of ribbon, I fold them in half, I fold a point, uh, just like you would a spirit chain, and then connect them at this angle. Oops, I lost it. So if you fold them in half, then you know exactly where the straight line is and you know how to fold these down to make a perfect point. And then just do them at this angle like this. And I already have them kind of. So, this top blue one needs to be on top because that's going to be my right ribbon. And then that one needs to be on top of there and underneath there. Because it's like a basket weave under and over, over and under. And it probably don't look like a victory braid just yet, but it will. So, if you just fold that one under. Go over and under, and back around, and you'll see it start taking shape. Pull on those. That's how you know. You know, sometimes when I start these, I don't have the ribbon at the right angle, and then it doesn't fold right. So you can go ahead and fold the first ribbon, wrap it around like this before creasing, and just make sure that they're all at the right. It's at the right angle, and you'll know. You can tell that once you crease that, those are going to be perfect. Only one left. How exciting. I still have quite a few. I still have quite a few for the 22nd. So that's another reason why I want to get this one done and out because I got to get those done and out. Doing those local orders put me behind on Etsy. Because I was getting most of them out like two weeks before their homecoming. At the most a week and a half. And now I'm doing a week. And this, this one will be six days before their homecoming. I don't like that. I'm just sure I got that as snug as it'll go without messing up that red ribbon. And just crease those down. And I like to use some kind of mat or a book or something to hold it down. Hold it in place. Oh, you know what? This is screwing me up. I gotta turn it. I had it turned this way, which was screwing me up. It needs to be where 
at an angle where these are going to the right and these are going to the left. Now for that far left one. Now I'm not doing it here, but um, on a mum I did this week, I did a victory braid with six ribbons. And I know you guys would love the outcome of that. And that's all I'm gonna say about it right now, because that will probably be a video for next season. And the reason being is because the idea came from somebody else on Pinterest. And it's a new idea of her, so I don't want to steal it. <laughs> so I want to give it some time that she's had it out. I don't know if that that's exactly what she's doing, but I saw this braid and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I take a victory braid and add more ribbons if I'll get a similar outcome. So, but I don't want to do a video right away because I don't want to take away from her or something new that she came up with. Oh, it is a big one, triple. At least I didn't get a triple this year. I got that double and that was it. And some singles, some long singles. I'm doing a 24 inch, but it feels like a big one because I'm doing an eight and a half inch flower on it and she wants a 3D backer. So, and she's the one I did the, the double box braid for it too. So it's just been a lot of work, but she ordered really early. So I've had time to do stuff with it. It's the Cypress Woods uh, Wildcats. I got a few from there this year. I think I got one last year. I got several this year. <laughs> no triples for you? Sorry, my allergies are bad. We're all weather changing. <clears throat> Hopefully I made this long enough. I always have to look at my videos and look at the, in the description for the measurements. Okay, we'll do another one. I did some triples when I first started, but they were with four inch flowers, so they weren't anything massive. <laughs> yeah, a double was a lot of work. And the main thing that Oh, I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. For me, it's like just finding the room to work on them, especially with 30 inch streamers. I swear I'm gonna sneeze, you guys. Try not to. <laughs> be right at 12 inches. So I ran out of ribbon there. I'm going to fold that under. And then fold under that side. Okay, we'll do another one. <laughs> That's right, Connie. Have you guys been watching Connie's, uh, I guess they're shorts. Aren't they of some finished mums she's done? Okay, so it should be fine to hang. I never get the same results with the measurements. I always get slightly different ones. Mm, no, I didn't go to any classes. I'm self-taught on everything. Um, I did watch a few videos and see some pictures and stuff and I just kind of figure them out. Everything like making the whole moms and everything. But I, I've always made um, 
I've made, made floral arrangements and wreaths and, you know, like wedding bouquets and corsages and stuff like that for, for years and years. So I kind of, it wasn't hard for me to figure out how to make them um, once I, you know, saw what it was made of because I'd already been doing kind of similar stuff. It was the braids that were difficult for me anyway. Just figuring those out. TJ went to some, you did some classes? YouTube University. <laughs> Y'all are so funny. Nope. I forgot I hung them over here. grab this one that will be just perfect actually you see you get that fun end when you do them like this and there's no cutting and folding and trying to fix it I like to hold it up and make sure that it's nice and even before I start stapling So the other day I was stapling on a backer. I don't remember what I was doing. I think I was stapling the sections together and I, and I turn, turn it over. You know, I'm always telling you guys, always look behind you to make sure you, what you're stapling. I look over and I had stapled one of the loops down. It took me forever to get it apart, get it off there and not tear it up. It was a mess. So there's that one. Now I need to hang some trinkets off of it and then I can attach the other section to it. Oh, you didn't take any classes for months. Oh, sorry, no, I forget about the delay. There's a delay and so I've already moved on to like five other subjects when somebody answers and I can't remember what I asked. I'm glad you watched that. They used to teach classes at um, Ellis Home and Garden, but I don't even think they do mums anymore there, which it's only in a certain part of like Texas and Louisiana. And I'm not sure about, I want to say that Hobby Lobby and Michaels have done classes before. <coughs> I don't know if they still do that post COVID or not. I need to get some water. I'm sorry, I wasn't prepared. I'm back. I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, exactly, Connie. <laughs> that reminds me. That reminds me. Okay. Are you ready to see one of the very first mums I did? This has two four inch flowers. This is soft satin ribbon. You see I attached feathers on the top and I did tinsel around it. <laughs> Look, no braids or chains. These are all like organza and soft satin and grow grain ribbons. I made trinkets out of bottle caps, and I had some real trinkets, and then bells, stars. Look at look at how thin that is. <laughs> so, for all of you that that say, "Oh, she's so talented! Look how good her mums are!" This is how I started. So don't feel so bad, okay? <laughs> Yes, K, trial and error. Yes. Oh, look at the back. So there's a little tiny ribbon necklace that I don't think anybody could get over their head. And then that's what the back, look at that, look at that mess. <laughs> K, you're being too nice. If you're re responding to this, you're being way too nice. I keep thinking I need to cut the bells and the trinkets and stuff off that and save what I can. 
Because it wasn't worn. It was just like a, a, an experiment. You know, I was just trying to make some, trying to figure it out. And so I need to save whatever I can off of it and stop storing it. That's what I was just thinking. <laughs> And then I made it worse by putting the bows on either, <laughs> either side. I'm glad no girl wore that. Good grief. Okay, so here are my trinkets. We have the trinkets out. I think I said I did more trinkets on these than I have on a lot of them, but I just thought they needed it. So I'm doing a different football on each one. On this one, or on the other one, and then giving them all like slightly different. They all got this trinket, but they all got different helmets, and I think they'll all get one of these. But all these other little trinkets will be different, so that'll change it up. <laughs> I swear, the three of us. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, I have to redo stuff too sometimes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely would make it look better if there was something in the middle. <laughs> and not, not a bow on each flower. Oh my gosh. Oh, really? I've never seen that blog. So I just teach classes on YouTube. Okay, so that one will go there. These I will hang. These will be glued down. I need bells too. I did a bigger bell on hers than I'm doing on theirs. I'm just doing a couple of little ones on theirs. Doubles aren't hard. It's just more work. Yeah, exactly, TJ. That's right. We are our own worst critics. I know I'm the worst. It's a little bit harder because it's got a really small hole on it. But if you cut your ribbon or whatever it is you're working with here at an angle, it will make it easier to get it on. Actually, I think I'm going to put a bell with that and a bell with this just to change it up. And I'm just putting that through the helmet right there. It's probably going to swallow the bell up. I need to turn it around. See, if I put it in there like this, the bell is going to go in there. Because I have had that happen. So I'm going to try and turn it this way and see if that doesn't happen. Oh gosh, mine, mine are not perfect at all. <laughs> oh goodness, the helmet just came apart. I pulled too hard. Okay. I 
always like to put a little glue because when you're working with these little ribbons, especially the really thin uh, soft satin, it'll just pull right through or twine no matter how many times you staple it. Now I can't find the end of the ribbon. Seriously, I can't find the end of the curling ribbon now. It disappeared. I don't remember where I got this giant roll at. Okay. Seriously. There, that worked. Did you? That is so funny. Isn't that funny how that works out? I've gotten sometimes on the ones that I've done, like thrown together too, that I've gotten the most compliments on it. So funny how that happens. I'm telling you guys, I mess up all the time. Okay. These are ones off the little pack so it's got all the little pieces you have to cut off. That's the only thing I hate about using those. Okay. And then Connie's little trick to go like that. I'm doing that all the time now, Connie, thanks to you. That's right, they only get to see the good stuff. <laughs> That's me too, cussing and ripping stuff off. I'm like, why did you do that? So I'm letting it hang off the bottom a little bit, his legs. Keep dropping bits of glue. They're, that's already hard, so. You know what I did the other day? I glued something. I think it was a bow. I glued the back of it and I turned it over to attach it to whatever and it fell on my hand. It fell on my fingernail, thank goodness, but it was still hot. And I'm trying to take it off and then there's, there's all this glue everywhere. Oh, it was awful. I didn't end up with any blisters though, so that was good. I'm gonna glue those like that. Doesn't really matter which one. This is what that one would look like. I think all the other ones, I, or the other guys ones, I ended with navy on the ends. So I tried to do one that was red on the ends. Okay, let's go defense. Make sure it's on there right. So that's how that one looks too. Honestly, doesn't matter. I'm just going to attach this one because I've got it on my mind about the go, let's go defense. That way I will know that I'm getting it on this one correctly. I just want to straighten it out, make sure it looks good. Make sure these are lined up. I want them lined up so when I put the last one on there, it covers both of them. Make sure it's still, yeah. 
And then I like to do two staples. Make sure it stays in place. <laughs> oh my gosh, Connie. Aww. It's super easy, too. Just make sure you're layering them really, really well. And of course, you could do multiple layers. I just do one layers on these uh, peas and minis. That's one one way to keep the costs down for people. Plus it makes it a lot easier to make them too. It's quicker. Okay, so now I'm gonna glue. It, I don't know if you noticed I didn't even put a hole in this back one because I already attached the flower to this one so I don't need the hole. There's no reason to put a hole if you don't need it. And my garters are glued and stapled on. I've probably got 10 staples on each side. Just to make sure those suckers don't come off. Now I'm going to staple around. While the glue is still hot. I actually prefer this one once I get down to here because it's just it's a narrower it's narrower but it's out of staples. I have been trying to remember what I needed to add to my Amazon list and it's staples for this one. I have more boxes of this one. Now I try to staple where that garter is. Make sure you're not stapling the garter down to the backer. Just again, I want to make sure that it's completely covered. I don't know if you guys can see that. Okay, that sucker is on good. And I ran out of backers again. I cut a whole bunch the other day, and I'm going to have to cut some more. How do I choose where to put those letters? Well, I know that I'm going to put letters on the outer ribbons. Because, of course, you got the most room there. And I try when I'm putting the ribbons, when I'm layering the ribbons, I try to make sure that there's at least another one on each side that's got plenty of space to see like if you can tell because of that sucker but the blue is wider than that and that so I'll put it if I need to I'll put stickers there and again the blue there so you just got to be careful about how you're layering them and make sure that you're leaving room to attach some stickers and then of course on some braids you can also, you know, you could on the blue diamonds you could have put a mascot or their name or something going down. That's right, Connie, it is less expensive. Oh, okay, thank you so much. You're so sweet. This was the last of my inexpensive five inch flowers. So I had gotten really lucky. I think it was last year sometime. I had found a bunch of five inch, five and a half inch flowers. They're really, really good price and I bought a bunch of them and that's another reason why I was able to do the peewees at such a good price. But now I'm gonna have to order 
from the mum supply store and so I'll have to go up on my prices a little bit more again. Uh, it's a peewee garter. No, that's okay. Uh, actually, I keep, I keep changing the prices a little bit. Like I just recently changed it to where the shipping's included, so I went up again. But for a basic, I think, um, I think I'm around 35 to 40 for a basic without the shipping. So a basic to me is not going to have a custom cutout. I had to switch my prices in, in, in the categories and, and now I offer ones with custom cutouts and ones basic without a custom cutout and so if they really want a custom cutout they're going to have to pay for it because everybody was starting to expect them. Um, expect a custom cutout with their order even though I didn't say that they came with one and then so everybody was ordering them and they would want complicated ones and I'm like I'm not making enough to do a custom cutout because it's it's a lot of work all right Connie have fun hope to, hope you get to come back I don't know how long I'll be on for but thanks for joining in I may be a little late. I'm behind on my comments. Oh yeah, if you layer your ribbons really well, then it's going to look fuller and you don't have to use as many. Did you, TJ? That's good. I actually, these actually came on a bush. So don't discount looking at places where they sell like a, a bush, you know, the you know, you can get some flowers and roses and stuff on a bush of flowers. So sometimes, I mean, these are the real mums that, you know, homecoming mum. And I didn't know you could find those on a bush, but I just got lucky and found them. And they were a really, really good price. And I can't remember what they were a piece, but it was definitely cheaper than what you buy them for. They're not as many layers. And then it's got the green piece in there. Because when you buy them from the homecoming mum supply store, they've got the white piece in there. But once I put something on it, you can't see the green piece, so it doesn't matter. That's right, they did. And Connie's comment. Her mom's look good. The one she's put up so far, I've loved. I don't know, what's the $5 boxes? I don't know what that is. Yes, they do. I mean, if you show a picture of one that's got all these extras and they think that, that all those extras come with it. So I've learned, you know, when I'm on my listings, I have to put like this one came with this extra and this extra and this extra. So now I offer all these varieties on my mini mum and peewee mums, but I kind of had to because some people want longer ones. So now I've got like a basic extra long or, you know, with the minis, somebody wants there's bling so there's a blinged and then there's a bling and an extra long and then there's a custom and an extra long and a bling so I've got so many different options it can be confusing for some people but most people have gotten it and I've been happier being able to you know section it off like that and then if somebody just wants a basic one like this they can get a less expensive one I think this lady she bought one for her daughter and then these three boys, I don't know if they're just friends of her daughters or what. She's just being nice and, and ordering mums for these boys. I don't know. But so if I was buying three mums for three other kids that weren't mine, I, I would want a basic too. She's just gone on and on. I keep sending her pictures as I'm working, and she keeps going on and on about how beautiful they are. It makes me feel great. <laughs> That's right, Connie. Uh, you've done some videos on that where she's double, where she takes the flowers on the bush and, and doubles them up. But I have some five and a half inch flowers from the mum store too that I use on that I use on the mid size, and then I use them also on the the full size garters. So I use those really nice thick ones on those more expensive mums, and then I use these on these less expensive ones. And I'm always attaching something 
on the Barbie, so you kind of have to push it down a little bit. So, but if you were wanting to make it full, then you could take some of the layers off of one and add them to another one to make it thicker and fuller. Which I have done that before. I have <coughs> bought little. I found little ones before, but they didn't have many layers, so I would add to them and make them fuller. But Connie actually shows that on a video. I know, well, this was like a, a wholesale place that we sometimes go to that I just got lucky and I bought several bushes. I wish I would bought like 20, but I didn't, you know, well, probably couldn't afford it, but. <laughs> Mystery boxes and bags. Oh, I think I've heard of that. I'll have to check into that. I don't guess I've ever really, I mean, I've heard of it, but I hadn't really seen it or paid attention to it. That is crazy. I'll have to remember that. Yes, it was overwhelming. And I suggest you start out small. small. That's what I did. I mean, but that's up to you what you want to do. Make sure there's no label on the back before you glue these on. If I knew their numbers, you know, I could do vinyl and their name, their numbers. But she, all she knew was their names and that they all played football. So that's what we're doing. I'm just going to put a pair of scissors on there to hold it down. Because I don't want to be sticking my fingers in there right now. It's really hot. The thing is steaming it so hot. So what I did was... Um, Actually, the first year that I made bones, I made my daughter's, which hers looked a, a lot better than that one over there. That one may have been the very first one. I don't know. But I made my daughter's, and she was on a cheer, a little cheer team, and I sent picture. I just sent out a picture of it and said, I got extra supplies. This is the mom I made for my daughter. If anybody else wants one, I, you know, I'd be happy to make it for this amount of money. And I got like five orders for that first year. And then the next year, I got a couple of people that came back, and I got a few more people. And so every year, it was just like word of mouth, because I don't do Facebook or anything. But if you did like Facebook or something, you, you could advertise more. And then eventually, I think it was what, year seven before I got on Etsy. So whatever pace is good for you and whatever, like however much you want to uh, put out there. In advertising if you just want word of mouth or if you want to put it on Facebook because I mean if you um, say you're making moans or if people are gonna order from you and you can be like TJ with her Etsy shop she already had an Etsy shop and she just started out with one listing so that I thought that was really smart just stick your foot in, your toe in the water Of course. So it should be cooled down enough that I can stick my fingers in there. Make sure. So I might add another little trinket on there. I've got homecoming, which I did that on another one. I think it was the girls. I'll do that. I had that other one that said touchdown. Yeah, I made up a little order form. And they would just call me or text me and I'd fill that out. And then I have like a binder that I keep the orders in. And the Etsy ones, I print them off. And then I just put... I mean, if you're just doing one school, then you don't have to section them off, but since I do multiple schools, I, uh, I've i got a sheet on the front where I put the dates, the dates of homecoming, like October 15th and October 22nd, and I, and I just write down, like, their name, their first name, and what months they ordered, and then I can go through and actually look at their sheet for the details, but as I get them done, then I can mark them off. And I can put little notes, and that way I don't miss anybody. Actually, I could put that right on top of the football. Oh, 
I almost burnt myself but I didn't. Try to get as many petals between your finger and the hot glue as you can. I just found a little gap right there and I very quickly pulled my finger out before I burnt myself. Okay. So I just added a little something there. Looked like it needed it. All right, I'm gonna go hang this one up and then I can start on the other one. Okay, so I did a Victory Braid, a regular Spirit Chain. I don't wanna do anything complicated that needs to sit, that needs, uh, like a Texas braid is not that bad, but it would have to, you know, I'd have to put some books on it. And I, don't, I don't have time for that. So I think I'll just do a three ribbon spirit chain because that's going to be easy. Oh, well, that's good. So is So it's like an online order form, I guess. All right, I'm gonna do seven eighths inch ribbon. And I'm trying to remember what I cut. Okay. So 12 inches, I'm gonna cut it at 13 inches. I'm not gonna cut it at 13 inches. I'm gonna measure out 13 inches, fold it in half, and do another 13 inches. So I just creased it right in half there. Now I need the navy, the same size. Don't crease the navy. That's what I'm gonna, I actually usually go over a few inches and I didn't, so hopefully it won't be too short. Okay, thank you for announcing that I like Cheetos. Thank you, everybody. Or thank you, my husband. <laughs> Y'all must think I just eat junk food with fever nuggets and what else has there been? Okay, so at the crease, I'm folding it down to make that point. And if you just fold it right there at that crease, see how that crease is right in the middle now? It's gonna make a perfect point. Yes, that is fine, Connie. Again, hopefully I didn't cut this too short because I usually go over at least a couple inches. So I'm gonna hold it in place. And if you guys can see that. So I don't line it up perfectly. I think I've done that in the past, but I found that it's not a real great angle that way. And just like I did with the Victory Braid, I'm gonna weave that through and just kind of see if that's the right angle. So that looks like that's a good angle. Now I can staple that. <laughs> yes, but we're not anywhere near where the beaver nuggets are. <laughs> Just got lucky during a live. I buy uh, the acetate ribbons. Sometimes I get them off Amazon. Uh, if I'm ordering from the supply store, the mum supply store, I'll order them up there. And my favorite mum supply store is All American Balloons. That is just my opinion. They're not paying me anything for that. I ordered back in, when, what was it, back in the spring. And now I've ordered at least three times from them. I've been really, really happy with their prices and the customer service and shipping really quickly. Like the last time I ordered, I was 
out of white garters and I really needed them and I didn't even tell them that I was like desperate for them and she made sure that I got them. She even called me to tell me that um, she thought they were out of them but she went and got some from somebody else's order. I'm sorry, whoever that was. Maybe they weren't as desperate or something, I don't know. But she's like, I wanted to make sure I got you these white garters. I know you needed them. I was like, okay. And I did, I was desperate for some white garters. I think I ordered 12 uh, to begin with and I ran out of them very, very quickly. And I ordered like 15 and I'm almost out of them again. <laughs> DJ, Connie, what, I, oh my gosh. If it wasn't for me hating coffee and not liking coughing, you guys would, we would be sisters, I think, the three of us. <laughs> I forgot to tell you, Connie, I set you and TJ up as moderators, so I don't think it will let anybody else put stuff like that on there, but like if anybody asks for a link or something, you and TJ should be able to put that in, in any of the lives for me. I'm sure TJ knows more about it than I do. All American Balloon Company. Like balloons, like the fly in the air. That you air up with helium. They sell that stuff too. But if you look on the menu, there's a homecoming section. And they sell mumflowers, they sell acetate ribbons, they sell trinkets, lights, everything you need. And they are in Arlington, I believe. You're very welcome, Deborah. I'm pretty sure I did a couple of quick videos on when I got either my first or second order from American Balloon. And unboxing it. I do, I did have a problem. The only issue I had, and it was my fault, was um, I'm really bad to order over a few, several days, like keep adding stuff to my shopping cart because I want to make sure I got everything. But I forget to sign in every time. And then when I go to pay, I don't even, or I'll skim through it, but don't realize that I'm missing things until I actually get the order and then I'm like, I'm missing stuff. And it's because I didn't sign in, so. The only issue I ever had with them was because, because of me. They were, I did have, there was something else from their very first order, I can't remember what it was, but they didn't have everything and, and uh, it took a while to get the refund, but she was like, once I finally got a hold of them, she was super nice and got got that refund to me right away and ever since then I haven't had any issues and I've ordered at least two other times since then. I know I don't I don't know what all goes into being a moderator I just know like that you can help the person out that's doing the live um, you know because I've watched other lives but I don't really know either. I'm, I'm guessing that's what you're talking about. Oh, I'm so glad to hear that because you know what I hear so many times on comments is I can't figure it out. I can't figure it out. Would you please do it this way? Would you please try it this way? Can you do it again? Can you do it again? <laughs> I've even told people or even had people comment, I can't figure this out. Your video is too hard. Yep. Well, blame me for it. So I appreciate that, Deborah, very much. I've only ordered from, and I can't remember if it was, I think it was Monster Spirit, because they're basically the same. They have the same stuff, and their websites look exactly the same to me. But, um, and I think they're pretty close together, aren't they? As far as I know, they are. But I always thought they were, like, the shipping and everything was really high. If you order so much from American Balloon, then the shipping is high. But the last time I ordered, I didn't order enough, and the shipping was not bad at all. 
Connie loves it. I've never actually been there. I'd probably love it if I went there. And so as you can see, that was actually perfect. I would have had a little extra. So this is that um, cracked ice ribbon, the white one, and it's like plastic. You can hear that. So if you glue something on this, it will like melt it and stuff. You have to be very careful. I recently had to pull a trinket off of a three ribbon spirit chain that had this on it. It was horrible because she told me the kid was a sophomore. She thought he was. Turns out he was a junior and it was a pretty good sized trinket so I couldn't cover it up and I just very carefully but I did rip this but I you know I had those stars that have junior and senior and all that on so I was able to glue that on top of the space and cover all that up. Uh, I see. I wondered because their websites look so similar and they have all the same stuff and the same prices. Mom's store in Glenrose. Oh, thank you so much. So yeah, some of those places, Connie, you have to have a tax ID. I know there's one um, not too far from here and uh, someone told me to get, me and somebody else went to get acetate ribbon and luckily she had a tax ID number. I did not, but the prices were not good at all. We were like, we bought a couple rolls and we were like, this is ridiculous. It would have been cheaper to buy it online or somewhere. Amazon, Amazon does not have bad prices on the ribbon, especially if you're just needing one or two rolls. Thank you, TJ. It's really not. It, it creases really well. I wasn't sure. You know, I've had this for a long time and I barely used it, but all of a sudden I've started using it on the three ribbon spirit chains because it's been really really easy to use it was just that one thing where I had to pull that trinket off so to make this into a three ribbon and this is how I've been doing my three ribbon spirit chains or some people call them deluxe spirit chains or whatever you want to call them I find it so much easier and plus this goes through these ribbons really easily so you want to leave a little space off there and you want it to go diagonal down and you want this to be long just enough to where you can fold it back and staple it on like that you see how well it creases now I'm just going to go through every section where there's red ribbon and leave it under that red ribbon so right there now it's coming out I'll just pull that it always go it always wants to twist for some reason every doesn't matter what kind of ribbon so pull it till it's snug. See how cute that is? I think it's much easier to do it this way than to try and uh, weave b both ribbons through at the same time. I don't even know if I can do it now. I've been doing so many like this. Oh yes, definitely. Deborah. It doesn't, you can do them on silhouettes or like a skein and cut like I've got or the crickets. I, I can't tell you how to do it on a cricket because I don't have one. how easy this is this ribbon is slightly um, not as wide as 
those two ribbons are too, so that makes it easier to weave through this. It just upgrades your spirit chains, just adding that third ribbon. And I love the like the diamond pattern that you get from that original ribbon that's in there. And of course you can turn it over if you wanted the blue to show more. See how the white is more dominant and the red is, the, you know, you're still going to get the red triangles, but the blue is going to show more on this side if that's what you wanted. just a little issue so that was perfect I have a feeling I'm gonna have to upgrade my machine soon it's like it won't it doesn't like loading the mat I keep having trouble loading the mats and I think it's just getting worn down I don't know I really do not want to have to buy another one I would love to use that machine until it just started smoking they're so expensive But if I buy a new one, I'm not sure if I want to stay with the same brand or if I wanted to go with a different brand because I know how to use that, you know, the brother. Uh, I always forget what it's called, Canvas Workspace. So I finally figured out how to use that well. I don't want to have to learn another program. No, not foam. You want to use glitter cardstock. Oh, thanks, TJ. These are another easy one. I think you'd love it. Thank you. I think it does too, TJ. On the brother, you have to buy like another mat for thick things and another blade. And I don't have that because I don't, I wouldn't cut anything else out. So, or I've never wanted to. I mean, there's been a couple of times I thought about cutting foam out for something, but not enough to buy the, the extra stuff. Yes, the glitter cardstock is the best. They also have some metallics in color, in a few colors. They have royal blue, red, silver, gold, and those work good too to layer. You can layer them with the um, glitter or just do glitter on top of glitter, but you don't want to use like regular paper cardstock because that's not going to hold up. And if it got wet, it would be, you know, it'd be gross. The glitter is thick and it has a kind of a different. Some of them have a paper backing, but some of them have kind of a almost plastic backing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I know, and I don't know, like, you know, there's an upside to every machine. Like, there's an upside and downside to every one. I had a hard time figuring out which one I wanted. I like the Brother because you could scan things in and that was the thing that sold me on it but it's really the least popular one I just hate the thought of buying another one I think I just really need to clean it out real good first before I think about doing anything else let me show you some cardstock So this is glitter cardstock, 12 by 12 sheets. 
and you can get all, all kinds of colors and designs. I have some chevrons. Here's the metallic. It's thinner than the um, glitter, but it still holds up really well. I got this check one too. Wanted to try out. There's one with dots. But lots of chevrons. But there's purple and there's royal blue, there's navy blue. Um, I recently found out that there's different reds. There's a scarlet red, which is great because I've got all those scarlet or crimson ones. And then Michael's has a burgundy. And you see I wrote on the back burgundy real big so I wouldn't accidentally think it was red because they are, you know, if you just glance, they're similar. But I don't know if you can tell the difference. That's a red and that's the burgundy. And I recently used this on a burgundy mum and I could tell that it was burgundy white. There's the gold metallic. So, the, you know, the guys might actually like these metallics better. I've used a few of them on the, on the guys, just like, but you can only do like, since there's limited colors, you can't do several layers of metallic. So, like, I did a royal blue and silver, I think, and so I used the royal blue metallic as the base. Like, I think I did a football, so I did the base the outline in the royal blue metallic and then I did the silver glitter as the football design. And then I also did an eagle for him and I did the same thing. I did the blue for the background. Oh. Connie's going to have to do some video tutorials on that. Okay, so who's all watching at this very minute right now that's not related to me? We got Connie, I got TJ, I got M. Deborah, give me a little shout out when you hear me say your name. Make sure you're still on here and, and listening. Is Kay still on here? She hasn't talked in a while. So I'm just scrolling through the chat trying to see who's all on there. Make sure I don't miss anybody. Sylvia was on here at the very beginning. I don't know if she's still on here or not. Okay, we got Elizabeth. Okay, still here. Deborah's here. Oh, that's okay. I think you've said that before. I just can't remember. My memory is horrible. Connie, TJ, Marie, M. So if anybody questions, who's Marie? Deborah, Kay, Sylvia, Elizabeth. I don't know if Sylvia is still on here. She hasn't said anything. So give me a shout out if you hear your name. I want to make sure everybody's still on here. It shows that there's only nine on here now, and there was 11, so. Let me get this last one. And I've already glued these all on. I guess I lied. This is the last cheap one. <laughs> but I meant this order. This order has the last of those. 
actually, I need to do my trinkets first, don't I? I start thinking about other things and I forget what I'm doing. So they all get this trinket on the bottom of their braid. That's okay. They don't have to have all the same stuff. This one's going to get a larger football. And I thought I had, I think I dropped it. Yeah. A little helmet. Connie, I know Connie's still on here. Okay, so Sylvia must not still be on here. I'm Hyla, H-Y-L-A. I know that I get Twyla and Kyla and Tyler. I get all kinds of crafty lady. <laughs> you can call me that too. Dead bird. DJ may have gotten knocked off. Or you just you're just not saying hi. Now we're back up to ten. TJ, are you still there? If not, I know you'll be back. She watches every live. Okay, so you see that? I'm always things are always flying, and I'm trying to try to pick them up so the dogs won't eat them. Okay, I knew TJ may have gotten knocked off. Okay. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's only six people, and there's 11 watching. I know one of them might be my husband, though. <laughs> I know TJ's always here, so. So if anybody else wants to say hi that's watching, uh, I'm not related to. Speak now or forever hold your peace. I'll give you a minute. And that's all you get. Well, well, there is a delay, too. There's always a delay. I don't know why. I need to get the bells out. I was like, what am I missing? There's two little bells. I wouldn't be telling people that goodness. No, I know you were just listening. Holly, nobody wants to hear that. Miss Growly, there's nothing out there either. She's growling at nothing. Yes, I've got Elizabeth on here too. Elizabeth. He's like Connie, he, he listens while he's driving. And shopping. <laughs> okay. Connie, TJ, Marie, Deborah, Kay, and Liz Elizabeth. That's it, right? That was it. I gave y'all a chance. Oh, mum lady. Isn't that fun? Okay. So I'm doing a drawing and this is all that gets in it. No more additions. Cut it off right now. Because I'm cutting them up. right oh that's good that, 
got several people that can't get them or complain because they don't get them. Me and TJ both sell on Etsy, so I know how to get a hold of her, and she knows how to get a hold of me, so I send her a little message because she wasn't getting them either. I've got six, including you, so that's right. Let me find it. I don't know if I have a little container in here. Yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, that's right, moderators. You can. Is there something special you guys can do? I'm going to fold these up super small. So I definitely can't tell. So you guys remember on the last live stream I did a surprise giveaway and I gave the girl 48 hours to get in contact with me. I put it, I announced it in the video that she had 48 hours. I even put a comment on the video that she had 48 hours and then I commented on her channel that she had 48 hours and I never heard from her. And actually when I looked back and looked at the live chat, like she did, didn't even say anything when she won so she must have already been off there. So. She more than passed her opportunity to win what I was giving away. So that's what I'm giving away today. Uh, I still want to see some cookies. You got to do some little videos of, even if you don't do the tutorials, just like show us what you've made. <laughs> you can, you still have half time. Oh yeah, I just use burgundy. That's all you can find in acetate. The schools, you know, they understand. I, I still get people that order and they're like, it's, it's maroon, but I guess burgundy. And I'm like, yeah, that's what you're going to get. I know. Oh, she's, she does cupcakes and cakes and all kinds of good stuff. Okay. So I think we're all mixed up good. I'm going to turn my head and I'm going to, can you guys see that? And then I'm going to draw, and I can't reach it. Okay, I got one. No, I don't want to get out of. Connie! Southern Cottage. You get the lanyard that I tried to give away last week. Yay, Connie! So if you guys forgot, if you weren't on here, if you forgot what it looked like, it's the bubble gum. And I forgot what that's called, light khaki? Maybe. Yes, light khaki and bubble gum. So it's got the ID and it's got two places for credit cards. And you can um, snap that if you don't want the lanyard part. Just to carry around your little your credit card to your insurance card and your driver's license and you can clip that on whatever. If you don't want that lanyard. Just a fun little coach piece here. Yay, Connie! Isn't she? <laughs> With the cupcakes. Connie, you got quiet. You won and you got quiet. There she is. You're very welcome now. I know how to hunt you down, girl. And I guess I have to say, because I did a giveaway, that YouTube has nothing to do, is not affiliated with the giveaway, blah, 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 blah. And the giveaway was just a surprise giveaway, and you had to be on the live chat, and you had to announce on the live chat to get anything. Thank you, Connie. I think I might start doing that with my giveaways, just doing a surprise giveaway. It's a lot easier and spontaneous. You guys never know when I'm going to do one. Thank you, thank you, Connie. Oh, that's good. That worked perfectly then. 
And I've got their little, um, I forget what they call it, corner zip, I think they call it, because it kind of zips down on, on one corner. And it's pretty small. It's like, it's a little, you know, it's a little bit bigger than that, but maybe like this big, and then it's got a little wristlet on it. <laughs> and so it zips, and it's got a place for two cards in it, and you can carry a few little things in there, but I love that thing. surprising you with a giveaway but it is nice to know y'all's names because some of the you know channel names can't figure them out at least it wasn't a bunch of gibberish sometimes people come on here and their names are like a bunch of different numbers and letters and I'm like ah what am I supposed to say to that I'm going to do this red one on the bottom. I don't know if you can tell, but it's kind of more on top because I just went around as I attached these. I just kept attaching them, and then I had to attach this one kind of more in the middle because there wasn't as much space. So it's kind of on top, sitting more on top of these two instead of being flush all the way around. So I'm going to put it on the bottom. Yeah, exactly. I never know what to call them when I see all that nonsense. I mean, you can pick whatever you want for your channel name. Just remember when you go on a live stream, they're not going to know what to call you. I'm just going all the way around and stapling that. Those aren't lined up perfectly. It overlapped a little bit there. So on some of these, I have been cutting out vinyl in a circle and measuring and then covering all this up but do I have to do another layer of backer to cover up the staples because vinyl is not going to cover up those staples they're going to push through so I'm doing another clean one but sometimes it's still like if it's overlapped like that because one may have been a little bit bigger or maybe I just didn't line them up perfectly so if I have something like that or the the back backer is just not you know, it just doesn't look nice or something. I'm cutting out vinyl, neither gold or silver, because I have a ton of that. I have huge rolls of that. And then carefully attaching that on the back. And it looks really nice like that. And it's easy and inexpensive. Try to get in there. too, Connie. I feel like, I mean, Halloween's going to be done and gone before I'm done with homecoming mums, and that kind of depresses me. Because we go all out for homecoming, and I mean homecoming. <laughs> See, I can't even think straight anymore for Halloween, and I'm not going to be able to do much of anything. I always like to come up with some decorating things and fun stuff and I just feel like I'm not gonna I might have time the week of I don't know next week it's still gonna be really busy for me I have a whole bunch for the 22nd but I've got to get them out by Friday Saturday latest and then I have a few orders for the last weekend the last Friday of October and I have one or two for November 5th and then I have at least five orders 
that are not homecoming and they're being so sweet and so kind they are impatient patient 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 but I told them you know at the beginning I was like slammed they were like I understand with homecoming I will wait until you are done with homecoming so they've all been waiting for weeks to have their orders and you know I check in every once in a while but they've all been wonderful and not in any big hurry for their moms so really grateful to them to stick with me through like eight ten weeks of homecoming before I can get to their moms And so I've got to cut out, what do I say, one for that one and this one, two more. So I think I completely, uh, completely ran out. I made a whole bunch of them, thinking I made enough to get me through this week, and I didn't. I'm going to use this football on this one. trying to pull it out on the wrong end. All right. So these are just in antenna toppers. That's why that's got that little hole. I got these really, really cheap. I got basketballs and footballs and they're perfect for mums. I've even put them on the bottom of like a box braid, I think it was. It may have been a double, I don't remember, but I remember putting one on the bottom and gluing it like this. I think I did the basketball on the bottom because they played both, and then I did like the football on the top. So I had one on the top braid, the top of the braid, and one on the bottom of the braid. That looked pretty neat. That was a full size carter. So again, I'm just adding a bunch of hot glue. Hold that down. <laughs> Maybe you just think you are. If you can do mums, you can do anything. That's the way I see it. I think I want to find something else to go on here. Let's see what else I've got. So see, I got the big homecoming, and then I did a touchdown on one of them. I did a homecoming, I think, on two of them, so it makes sense to do touchdown on two of them, doesn't it? Just as long as they're not all matchy-matchy. That's right, just watch some videos. There's so many out there. Uh, ribbon wreaths aren't that easy. Or buy a wreath that's already got like the mesh attached. You can find those sometimes. And then just decorate it yourself. I'm trying to see, I can't remember how I did the other one. I think I'll do this one straight on top. This is real narrow, so I'm gonna have to be careful. several petals between my fingers and that hot glue. I do have the finger protectors. Somebody's going to tell me to use those and I should be using those, but I'm not. There. 
cute. So I got a trinket here, trinket here, here, and plus a big one here, and then two more on there. I do have this, this class stars because three of these kids are um, seniors, which I used hers on the flower, but I just don't want to be sticking a big star on here. I guess I could. It would look cute like right here, but I don't know why I'm not, now that I think about it. I've got a whole bunch of them. It's starting to dwindle down though. stack about that that big but it was like about this big so oh that looks cute I don't know why I didn't do that well I guess I didn't want them all to have the same thing so which some of them I'm just gonna do stickers that say senior so I'll do that one there I think I like that on there That's true, the florals are easier. Grapevine wreaths are the easiest to me. Because they're already pretty, you just have to decorate them. But just adding the hot glue in the center. Because that's that wide. Now I want to kind of make it go. I don't like things perfectly straight. I like to off-center things. I think it gives them more character. So all I have to do is cut out two more backers and then cut out all the stickers, which does take a while. Um, I'm trying to remember if I already did them or not. I think I already designed the stickers. So all I have to do is kind of edit them and cut them out. Yep, I'm kind of everything I like. Just piping. That means she's piping cookies. <laughs> Piping, not typing, that rhymes. Right, let me hang him up. Let me measure this first. I don't remember what size. I like my pink ruler if you wondered why I was looking for another one. It's a more detailed ruler. Here it is. It's very... Really, I just fell on the floor. to get some chipboard. I need to clean off my desk here because that's where I'm going to be cutting. I've got a basket right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's just like scrap pieces of ribbon. I'll probably end up throwing most of it away. <laughs> no, that's exactly right right spelling and everything that doesn't happen very often okay so I gotta find somewhere to stick my book Ooh. I'm calling this little thing My mats look horrible. I keep cleaning them off and respraying them. And I did buy a new one. I just don't want to open it up. I really, really don't. I want to have one nice mat that doesn't get used. That's ridiculous, I know. Okay, I have a box 
of chipboard over there, so I need to find me a good piece that I can put some backers on. Frozen pizza boxes are the best to me because they're they're at least a 12 by 12 size a flat piece that's not you know doesn't have any creases on it cereal boxes are my second favorite I definitely get at least two out of this but I also save these for shipping because I like to anchor the head of the mum down by either like the back of it where there's a loop or a garter I attach that to the box I've got videos on this and then I also take this and put on top of the mum head and glue the sides down so the mum won't shake around say something about what's been happening to me in the last few months. I've had issues with people taking my photos off of like Pinterest or my Etsy listings and then using those photos to try and sell their mums. And so I feel like, you know, I've made posts about it and I know a lot of you guys have read that, but I feel like I need to say something to the people that might potentially do that who watch my videos. So I just want to say you do not have my permission to use my photos to try and sell your mums. Not only is that rude to me and disrespectful, but you're doing yourself a disservice and a disservice to your potential customers because everybody has their own style. All mum makers have their own style and nobody's is better than anybody else's in my opinion. They're just different. But if you put my photos or Mumtrocity's photos, then the customer is going to see those photos and they're going to expect that work and they're going to be disappointed. So if you try to sell, if you want to start a business and sell mums, then sell your mums. Don't try to sell somebody else's mums. And if you have only made one mum, show a photo of that mum. Show close-ups of different parts of that mum. Don't try to sell somebody else's mom. Try to sell yourself. Don't sell yourself short. So not only is it rude and disrespectful to me or whatever mom maker you're stealing from, and it is stealing, let's get that straight, but you're doing yourself a disservice. So look, you know, I mean, you're also, to me, you're also saying that you don't believe in your own work. So I want to get that out there. <clears throat> yes. I know but I've also there's also been another issue that I'm kind of on the fence about sorry I got bad allergies and I can't talk very well <clears throat> but you know I have a lot of videos that of things that are unique ideas that I came up with or maybe I got inspired on Pinterest and then I made my own spin on, on it but then there's been things that I completely came up with on my own I have a lot of techniques that are my own because I'm self-taught so I do things differently than everybody else so I'm teaching those techniques to you guys and I'm totally fine with you guys making these mums and selling mums using my techniques I think that's awesome if I see a picture of somebody that they're selling mums and they've got some technique that they learned from me, that is a huge compliment to me. But I, there's an issue that I do have, and this is even on YouTube will tell you, if you use somebody's video, or you use something you learned off somebody's video, whether you got inspired, or you're using their techniques, or whatever it is, if you make a video using those techniques or using or you just got inspiration from them you're supposed to give that person a mention or you're supposed to put a link to their 
video or something, you know, you're supposed to do something to recognize that person. And there is somebody that's teaching mom making. <clears throat> and I have seen at least two videos where she is using an, a unique idea that I came up with and taught, or she's using some, another one is um, something that, it is something that I came up with, but I got inspired by something on Pinterest, but I put my own spin on it. <clears throat> and I taught that technique and then I taught how to embellish it. And she is teaching that same it's a chain. She's teaching that same chain and on like Facebook and, and on YouTube, but she's using my exact technique and she's embellishing it the exact way that I showed you can embellish it. I showed several different ways to embellish it, but one of the ways that I showed she is doing, <clears throat> I'm sorry when I talk a lot, my voice goes out and she doesn't mention me at all. She doesn't put a link to my videos. She doesn't, you know, you do like an at, and you could do H. Cooper Crafty Bug or whoever's channel. Or, you know, like in the voice, like your voiceover, or you're doing a live, you're supposed to mention that person, and she doesn't. <clears throat> and I put a post about it, but a lot of people misread what I was saying, and so I took the post down. <clears throat> so I just wanted to say what I was trying to say on there. Um, so I hope that makes sense. But anyway, so she's teaching videos and using, and I'm sure she knows her own stuff, but if you get so if you guys are doing videos and you get inspired by another channel please mention them put a link to their video something to recognize their hard work that's what i want to say about that now we can move on <laughs> thank you tj yeah i had that post but when i reread that post i realized it really didn't make a lot of sense so i took it down and somebody completely misread what I was saying. They thought I was saying that she stole my video. And I was like, no, I did not say that. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut out a couple of circles. And I have to turn my blade up pretty high for this. I know some machines um, <clears throat> are self-adjusting. Mine's an older machine and I have to adjust the blade and sometimes I don't adjust it right and have to recut. That would be another plus if I decided to get another machine, getting a self-adjusting one. But I don't know how great those are either. <clears throat> so I'm just picking a circle. You know, I think I can, let me see if I can move my machine over here. I'm probably gonna knock everything down trying to do this. So. Let me go around the other way. <clears throat> may not have been the brightest idea. Okay. So make sure I don't melt my cord there. Okay. Yeah, you probably can't see it anyway. Yeah, I don't think you guys can even see what's on that little screen. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's hard not to get discouraged. Thank you so much. I remember being shocked the first time. I was like, why would somebody want to steal my photos? <laughs> and when I, you know, in those first few years when I would post stuff on Pinterest. I never put my name on the photos and I think my husband probably told me too and some other people and I was like, nobody's going to steal my photos. <laughs> okay, so, no. Yeah. Let me close that and see if it makes it darker so you can see that screen. So I'm just picking a circle and then going up to five inches. And I forgot to make quantity two, but I can go back to that. 
and then so it has two circles see my blade you have to take it out and I think I had to turn it up really high like 10 or 11 I can't remember make sure it's not going to move Don't worry, me. I'm not. It's coming off really easy. So I use this back grip spray on mine. It works really good with with these mats. I don't know how well it works with some of the other mats, but I love it. And sometimes, you know, I just add a little bit more when I need it. I bet they did, Connie. <laughs> understand why you would want to I mean I understand you want people to think your work is look at what she can do but honestly if you're just starting out you probably can't do that I when I was investigating that last one TJ I've probably told you I started looking through some of the other homecoming mom listings I just kind of skimmed through them and I immediately saw a lady not using mine but using a lot of the big mum makers in your area, like mum trocities and um, I'm trying to remember who else. There's so many. But every photo she had on the listing was somebody else's mum. So you could tell not only that they were different mum makers, that each one had a different background. So that was obvious to me that they, you know, who's going to take a be able to take a bunch of photos of mums and have a different background for each one and the backgrounds would be like a wall you know like an outside wall like a brick wall or something and it would all be completely different so that made me laugh but what really made me laugh was she you know how in like just like your photo editor you can do the eraser she did the eraser and erased the person's name but she did it real fast like so you could see somewhere on each photo where she had erased something on the photo so it was so obvious she stole the photos and i i couldn't help it i had to message her and i said are any of these mums your actual work and i got off there and never got back on so i don't know if she ever responded or not i don't really care i just wanted to be a, i just kind of wanted to be an ass Plus, I felt like I needed a shout out for those other mum makers that didn't know she was still in their mums. So now, you know, I put watermark across all my photos and I'm even like slowly doing it to my Etsy listing photos. I didn't even realize somebody would steal those and they did. That's the one TJ found, thankfully. Okay, so I just, okay, cut. Oh, oh, oh. I about did something retarded. You see, I've got my cardboard on this side. I don't know if you can see, but I got my circles on this side. So that was not going to be smart at all. I would have cut through my mat if I had done that. Yeah, it was hilarious. The eraser thing, it was so funny. Like, she not think that people are going to notice that. And those were both on uh, Facebook. What's it called? Marketplace. So I don't Facebook, but TJ brought it to my attention. And that's the only reason why I got on there. But So I would be careful if you buy stuff off, off there. Uh, but that first person that sold my photos was on Etsy too. So really be careful when you're buying something handmade. Um, like I try to put on my listings now, all pictures are my, you know, my work. And I see other people do that too. For some reason, the last few times I've got, I've cut circles, it has not cut a complete circle. It's overlapping and it's not even touching. I don't understand what the deal is. See, that's another thing I'm thinking. Something is going on. Okay, I didn't cut all the way. So sometimes I have to get out my X-Acto knife and help these along. I made a mess of that one. I made that one worse by tearing it. 
So usually if I just get my X-Acto knife, I can just kind of help it. So see, since this is not white, I'm going to cut out the vinyl too to cover it up. That's another reason why I've been doing the vinyl. And doing the silver or gold vinyl on the back, I just think it, it also gives it a unique look. I should have set this at 12, I couldn't remember. <laughs> I just tried to use that as my lid. I told you guys, mum brain. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it looks like you need to be careful on Marketplace. I don't know anything about it. All right, I'm gonna move my machine back over out of my way. I keep it at the end of my table out of the way and it's a perfect spot. I try to keep it cleaned off over here so I So when I need to cut something, I can, but when I'm doing my videos or my live stream, I have to move my other stuff over. So all the stuff that I keep right here is moved over in the way. So let me glue those. I've gone through a huge package of these so far. Tons of staples, tons of hot glue. I'm so glad I got these big giant glue sticks because I'm using a ton. So when you're very back backer, you just want to glue it. You don't want to staple because that's the whole purpose. Got a, a neat little hack here. I've been taking these little clips after I hot glue this instead of trying to push it all down. And I'm just clipping that all the way around. These are those ones from Dollar Tree. I love these. They're metal and they're really good little clamps. And you get, I've got another back package over there. I think you get six per package. So that's got it nice and tight. There might be like a slight gap, but it does a really good job. And I just glue the other half. I take it a half at a time, too. That's just easier for me. You just got to be careful over here. Now, of course, you can't do the very bottom. But sometimes I can take these alligator clips and push it under the, in between the ribbon in that first backer where the ribbon streamers are attached to and I can get just enough under it to clamp it down. There. So it's all nice and tight and I don't have to sit there and press on it. Yep, six in a pack. I love those clips. I love using them to clip braids and stuff or, or sometimes just you know like when I have just the ribbon streamers on the back or I can clip them up to you know one of my shelves or something and, and just all various I use them for all kinds of things I love those things I think that's my third package I just bought I have never done a bandana no <laughs> yeah I've got a shelf over there with ribbons and then I have shelves over here with ribbons and then I've got shelves in these or er, shelves in these drawers I have shelves in these drawers I have uh, ribbons in these drawers ribbons back there ribbons over there and then I've got ribbons in our extra bedroom it's a problem okay, so that's been long enough
And like I said, I will cut the vinyl because I don't really like that ugly chicory color. Probably shouldn't matter how pretty the back is as long as the staples are covered, but I do care. It would bother me. And this is the one that was off-centered a little bit or cut a little over or something. So I'm going to have to cut that vinyl just a little bit big on it. Oop. I'm going to have to be careful not wear a shirt that shows my armpits. I just realized I'm like all doing this to y'all. That would be, that would be good. nice and tight. See how it's overlapped a little bit? I don't know if you guys can see that. And then up here on this side. So it's almost like it was too big because it's over here and on this side it's a little off-centered. But if that thing's not cutting good circles anymore, there's that would make sense. hope I did their names already. I think I did. It's still going to take me a while to cut them all out. It's tempting just to get in <laughs> and use the font that's on my machine, but I still would have to type out their names and everything, so probably be easier on the computer. I do it on the computer on the Canvas workspace and then send it over to the machine and cut them out. But I'm going to use, I'm trying to think, I've got like a silver metallic or white, which I use a lot of white, so I'm actually trying not to use as much white because I've gone through it so fast. And I've got so much silver and gold, just like the metallic silver and gold, and then I've got some glitters and stuff. But I think I might use the silver metallic on all of them, at least the boys. On hers I might do something different, but I'm gonna put Wolves, I'm going to put their name, Homecoming 2021, and then probably on the seniors, I'll put senior, and I think I have junior in there somewhere because I've got one junior. I think I've got a little script that says junior, that was cute. Yeah, I make my own with the vinyl <clears throat> and cut them out on my machine. It does take a little bit more time, but I can use all kinds of fonts. So my uh, mums have different fonts. They don't all look the same. And then I use multiple multiple fonts on each mum too. And that, I love that look. I think it just really sets them apart. And it makes the names, like their names stand out if you're using different fonts. So that's, that's what I love to do. I used to use scrapbooking stickers at the beginning. And you did have to be careful. Some of those stickers would fall off. But I am done with that part. So I just gotta do the two vinyl back here on these two and then all their stickers. But that's still a good couple of hours probably of work that I have left. And unfortunately I need my computer to do that. So I will have to get off here to finish my mom's but I'm so glad you guys joined in. I'm sorry it's been a while since I did a live. I just haven't been able to. Next week I might be able to do one in the middle of the week.
you know, they had some real pretty stickers at Dollar General Store over, uh, like where they have the school supplies and then they have like poster board stuff. They had those stickers that have like the little rhinestones on them. I think they were $3 a package. I don't know how many of each letter is in there, but they had, they had the bigger ones on that section and then over, I think it was some little crafting section, they had um, the even smaller ones, but I don't know how well they stick or anything, but they were really, really pretty. I was tempted to get some, but I was like, $3 for a package? <laughs> how many, how much vinyl do I get for $3 and how many stickers do I get out of that? That's what I was thinking. Yes. Yes, you can buy vinyl rolls everywhere. Uh, Dollar Tree even has vinyl now, and I've had good luck with it. Even, um, I've had some bad luck with Cricut. I've used all different brands, and I've had some bad luck with some Cricut vinyl. The holographic vinyl, which is real thick, it was like, when I put it on some loops, it was like peeling up, and I had to use 6,000 glue and like take all these little alligator clips and clip them all down until the E6000 glue dried so they wouldn't come off. I was so frustrated. But I used it on flat ribbons and I didn't have any problem. It was just like the loops making it curve. I guess because the vinyl is so thick it just wanted to pull up. So you have to be careful about that. You know a lot of times you would think the thicker vinyl would be better vinyl but that's not necessarily the case. Oh, okay you're so sweet. King dollar? No, I don't think so. I'm trying to think if I've even heard of that. I don't. I don't think so. Dollar Tree's the biggest. They got Dollar Generals and Family Dollars and Dollar Trees, and I think that's about it. But it's a lot. We got a lot of small towns around here. Loops can be hard to do. You have to be way too perfect with loops. That's the hard thing about them. Okay, guys, I'm going to have to get off here. Oh, they do? I'll have to check that out. Find one. See where one's close by. We had a dollar store in town. I don't remember what it was called. Like everything's a dollar or something. And they had feather boas. They had all kinds of neat stuff that I would get there. And then they, I don't know, they just went out of business one day. I was disappointed because I used to find some good stuff there. I guess selling things at a dollar didn't make you enough money. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I got to get these done so I can get them boxed up and shipped out. Four of them is not going to be fun boxing. I'm probably going to try to box them up in twos. So two per box. And I'm still trying to think which size box I'm going to use because usually I use the large mailing box from the post office and I ordered some two or three weeks ago and haven't heard anything on them shipping yet. And I buy a bunch of those and I don't know what the deal is. I feel like I may have to reorder them again. But I use them a lot for wreath kits and then for some of my mom's and they're free boxes which is great and they're a good size they're like 12 and a quarter by 12 and a quarter by eight and a half inch deep and it's pri they're priority mail boxes and so they're just the regular priority mail prices and they're so anything that i can use a free box for i'm up up for that but it's the largest priority mail box you can buy and i love them but for some reason I'm not getting them in and I need them. I don't know where Katie is. I'll have to look it up and see where, if there's one anywhere near us. Oh, thank you so much, Marie. Is it Marie or Maria? Now I already forgot. See, I told you my memory is horrible. I think you said Marie. <laughs> Maybe I should stick with M. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate all of y'all watching so much. Congratulations again to Connie. And Connie, you see that you and TJ have the little wrench on all your chats. That's because you guys are the moderators. So we need to figure out what all you guys can do as moderators. But um, 
good, Murray. I had it right. I need to stop overthinking it. Oh, I'm too far away from Houston. I'm no, nowhere near Houston. <laughs> yes, that way I won't have to guess. <laughs> You're like me, though. I had, you know, I had mine as H. Coop, so. Because I didn't want everybody want, knowing my name. No, I don't care. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Kay, for all your chatting and your sweet comments. She's always so nice with her comments, and I appreciate that so much, Kay. Really. And uh, thank you. The Sylvia that was here at the very beginning, I don't know what happened to her. I guess she had to get off. TJ, of course, thank you so much for always being here on the lives. And Connie, they're almost always here, too. Murray, thank you so much for joining in. I hope you get to join in on some more. Who am I forgetting? Elizabeth was on here earlier. Thank you for joining in. And Deborah, I try to go through and thank everybody that joins the chat. Hope I don't miss anybody. But I appreciate you all chatting. It makes it go by faster. It really does. So I think that was everybody that was chatting. Oh, and then my husband and the Cheeto announcement. Forgot about that. Look at y'all. Oh, uh, yeah, I knew she was by Cypress. So I did tell you I'm doing a few. Isn't that Cypress? Isn't that, is that, no, that's, I don't know. I'll have to tell you. I'll have to tell you what schools I'm doing. Now I'm getting confused. That's funny. You guys are neighbors and didn't even know. Y'all are close. That's funny. I'm nowhere near y'all. I'll tell you that. Oh, thank you, Connie. All right, guys, I'm going to get off here. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Y'all have a good evening, and don't forget to be nice to others, even when it's very, very difficult. I know sometimes it is, and I have to keep reminding myself, be kind, be kind, be kind to others.